Hey, welcome to Vengage and thanks so much for signing up. My name is Nadia and I'm the head of marketing at Vengage. So I'm going to walk you through the basics of making your first infographic on Vengage. Now that you're all signed up, you should see this page. Click on create an infographic right here and you'll be brought to the template section. We are constantly updating our templates page to bring you new and exciting infographic designs. Take a couple of minutes to look through the different templates we offer. There are a range of different kinds of infographic templates, report templates, posters, maybe you want to make a flyer or a brochure, and even social media cover image templates. As you scroll through the template section, notice that we have them categorized as either beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I definitely recommend that you start out with a beginner template and work your way up to the more advanced styles. We're going to create the planning ahead template to get started. Now to change the text, just double click to type. So let's change the text to making infographics. Now in the top toolbar, you can actually choose to change the font style and size or decide whether you want to bold, underlined, or italicize your text. So while we do that, I'm just going to adjust this so that it fits better. Now let's say you want to change the icons in the template. There's actually a massive library with over 10,000 icons to choose from. So let's see what the animal section has to offer. I really like this bird icon, so let's just drag it into the template and you can resize it to fit. Now at the top, notice that you have these two color swatches. So the first one changes the color of the icon, but the second swatch is actually if you want to add a second color to the icon using the color picker. You can just adjust the percentage over here like this. And now you have a two-toned icon. Now let's say you want to add a custom color. You can actually use a hex code or an RGBA code. Now another great thing about the icon library is you can save icons that you use a lot as favorites by clicking that heart right there. And then you can just come back to them later when, when you need to use them again. So if you want to change the background color, scroll down to the bottom and you'll find this color picker right here. So notice as I go through the different colors, you can just adjust to whatever color you'd like. You can also upload images into the template. Select the image dropdown and you can either search through the Google image library that we offer or upload your own image. So I'm going to search for a bird to stick with the motif that we've got going on. And then you just drag the image right into your canvas. And notice how it doesn't really fit the circle. So you can actually resize it and drag an image frame into the template. So what the image frame does is it allows you to reshape your whole image and so you just drop it right into the image frame and then adjust it by double clicking and then click out to save what you've done and now your image should fit. Now one thing to address is that some of the widgets are locked in place. Notice how the black frame can't move um, and that's because we locked it to make it easier for you to edit the other elements. If for some reason you do want to change lock components or delete them, just select and click on the lock icon over here. And you can do that again just to, to re-lock the images that, that you don't want moving. Now if you want to group multiple images um, into one, you just highlight around, click that group icon at the top toolbar, and notice how your images will all be one, and just click it again to ungroup the images. Now let's just assume I'm done with this infographic. It's time to publish the infographic and this little eye icon is your publish button. You can preview your work so far over here like this and you can also publish the infographic by going here so that it can be viewed publicly and you can share the link with anyone or embed this code onto a website or blog. Now if you click the community tab right up here and scroll down you'll see your infographic. So congratulations, you now know the basics of getting started with Vengage so you guys can go ahead and experiment yourselves.